Welcome to Just Cook It Radio, where delicious recipes and real cooking lead to amazing dishes. We cook, you listen, it works. With your hosts, Chef Mario Pereca and Bill Alexander. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. You are listening to Just Cook It here on your local station, 590 Radio, WMBS, and also on FCTV Channel 77 and at JustCookIt.tv. I am Mario Pareca here with Bill Alexander and Mike Sackley. Are you sure I'm here? Because if you're watching TV right now, you can't see me. I'm behind an oven. <laughs> you're a little blocked. <laughs> we do have a small oven. This is this is going to be a really interesting project we have going on today, so you don't want to miss the today's show for sure. Yeah, yeah, th- this is really interesting. But before we go any further, I'd like to say congratulations to Ken Marks. He just graduated from California University of Pennsylvania. Okay. Have no idea who he is. His name was on the marquee when I passed Jackson Farm. So okay. I thought I'd congratulate him just because everybody else is too. So congratulations. Congrats. Yeah. And big news, December the 21st, which is next Saturday, Bill, we will be live at the Big Barn. We'll be cook- We'll have be cooking um, with Kabasi. We'll be giving away samples. You know, anytime I start conversation about going to the Big Barn next week, I've been talking about Kabasi. Yes, we will that's, have that's Kibasi. all I've been talking about. We'll also have ham. We'll okay. be giving out because they have the best ham. So the, the best thing to do is to come down and get your ham while you're there, and then you'll have great, great samples. We'll also be giving away samples of pie. The Big Barn oh. will be. Their pies are the, one of the best pies I've ever had. You, you as oh, well. D- ask my ask my uh, 13 year old son. That's that's what he lived and, on when we were at the home show. And I've also been informed that courtesy of the Big Barn and also courtesy of Gene and Boots, we will have two gift certificates, oh, gift really? cards to give away. One for the Big Barn and one for Gene and Boots. One of the best candy. In so, the area. Absolutely. So we have a jam-packed morning next Saturday, the 21st. Come to and but the, here's the catch: if you want the certificates, you have to be there. Oh, of course. So we're only giving them away to people who are there. You come in, you're going to get a big barn calendar. You're going right. to get a just cook a bracelet just for showing up, just yeah. for coming through the door. You're going to get samples of food. You're going to get ham. You're going to get pie, kibos, two different kibosi dishes. So you're going to leave full, and then you'll be eligible. Now for we're going to be able to do this all in cards. an hour. We're gonna. We, <laughs> well, we're gonna do the, our show in an hour because okay. that's our time slot here, and then I will be staying after okay, to, gotcha. to carve ham and mingle, and I'll have my cookbooks there. So if anyone wants to get a signed cookbook, makes a great Christmas gift. Not only are we going to be there, the GM of WMBS will be there I'm too. I'm a little nervous. Yeah, I am too. I think they're watching over our shoulders. Be, be gentle, last week. be gentle, I, Brian. I talked to Brian because I, I told him how much fun I have with you guys every Saturday uh-huh. morning. He can't wait to to get in on the cooking <laughs> himself. So. I, he, he might be hungry. We'll, make, we'll feed, we'll Thursday, fe- we'll feed him well. Yeah. Um, so be sure to mark that on your calendars. Come see us at the Big Barn at 9 a.m. next Saturday. We have a whole litany of things going on. It's going to be a, a lot of fun. Also, we're giving away a Just Cook It Radio prize pack. You have to go to justcookit.net. At the top on the menu, there's a tab that says Drawing. Click that tab. Fill out that form. We have already have some people who have That's entered. Um, and we're drawing that at the Big Barn and next nice, Saturday. And so what's make sure nice about this, too, is you don't have to be in the that. local listening audience. No. You can be in our podcast audience that, that covers pretty much all of the United States and some parts of the world, too. Yes. So make sure you go to justcookit.net. Fill that form out, and then we'll do a random drawing at the Big Barn next Saturday, and the winner gets it's about a fifty it's a fifty dollar value prize pack from yeah. Just Cook It Radio. So that sounds like fun. And Mike, you can't you can't enter. Aww. Station employees are ineligible. I it's, saw you shaking. Just, I'd, I'd be really upset if there was Shiner beer involved in that prize pack. <laughs> hey, who, who said there isn't? isn't? <laughs> we didn't, we haven't committed to anything oh, yet. You're breaking my so, heart here. We're also cooking in studio again today. We're not cooking. We've already cooked on the show. We're going to cook again in the future, but we're baking Baking. today. And you know me, Bill. Baking isn't one of my favorite things to do. However... Baking cookies is. Okay. I love, love, love cookies, and that's what we're going to do. Not only are we doing it here, but in my household today is my wife's big baking day, and she has everything ready, everything going. And we were talking before I left this morning about um, her and a couple colleagues were going online yesterday and looking for cookie recipes that had bacon in yes. them. And I guess this has become the new trend now to be able to use bacon in any way you possibly can. Uh, bacon with bacon. Bacon with bacon. That was my <laughs> joke. It didn't go over very well. But, I laughed. It's yeah, okay. it's, it's funny. But um, it was really interesting to hear her talk about it because they were looking for bacon recipes. So is bacon bacon is not taboo like it was a few years ago. Now it's being used in everything. Yeah, it's that whole sweet, salty yeah. combination. We talk about how the flavors play off mm-hmm. each other and... They just have a great contrast and work together. So as we get started making these cookies, if you want to call us and join in, let us know what your favorite cookie is or just, you know, join in the conversation. The number is locally 724-438-4593. The lines are open. And if you're calling, if you want to call toll-free, 855-590-0590. Those are the numbers. So this recipe is one of my favorite Christmas cookies. 
And it actually appeared in my column in the Herald Standard. I found it. Oh, thank you. It, it, was, si- it was sitting over here. <laughs> We're going to use that later. Okay, I just want um, to make sure. So this appeared in my column in the Herald Standard yesterday in Go Magazine. My first starters column, it was the adult cookies and milk. Yes. Or adult milk and cookies. Right. And we're going to make that exact. So if you want the recipe, there's two different ways you can get it. Go to heraldstandard.com and get it, or in Go Magazine, actually three different ways. Or you can go to justcookit.net, scroll to the very bottom of the page. Our most recent blog posts are there. Right. So at about three, four minutes ago, it actually posted the recipe for both of these. So you can get it at justcookit.net, you can get it at heraldstandard.com, or you can get the recipes in Go Magazine. Now, the kids can eat the cookies, right? They just yes. can't eat, drink the milk. Right. Okay, the I cookies, just want to make sure. Cookies are for everyone. Okay. Because, and, sure. I, and I made sure I put this in my column, um, don't leave this milk out for Santa. <laughs> I saw because, that. Yes. He has to drive the sleigh, yeah. so you can leave the cookies out for him. <laughs> or he may end up being in the home when you wake up in the morning because he's had too much. I mean, it's possible. You don't want to see. Could you imagine everybody in Fayette County giving adult eggnog that night to Santa or adult milk to Santa? Could you imagine being the reindeer? Because <laughs> they're moving this the sleigh, and you have Santa behind the wheel that's a little tipsy, and they'd be forever. They'd be like, what the heck's going on? Yes, very interesting. So, to start this out, the first thing I have here, Bill, is I have some flour. Now, this is my original recipe, okay? okay? So I did a lot of cookie research, and I kind of did some uh, – you know, I love puzzles, and right. I love figuring things out. So I had, like, 40 cookie recipes, Yeah. broke them down, did some mathematical equations and things, and this is what I came out with. So anytime you're baking, everything has to be very precise exactly. because it's a – It is a science. Yeah, it's a science. Um, so when you're cooking, you know, you can put a little of this, a little of that, taste it, right. adjust it, not when you're baking. Okay. So when you're measuring dry ingredients, use a dry measure. When you're measuring liquid ingredients, use a liquid measure. If it says, you know, X amount of this, make sure it's that certain right. amount, okay? So the first thing we're going to start with, I have two cups of flour here. I have one cup of cake flour and one cup of all-purpose flour. Okay. And you can kind of see the difference here. One's cake finer flour's, and one's right. a little bit more coarse. Cake flour is wi- whiter and it's a little finer. And the reason I did that is because... Regular flour has more gluten in it. Gluten is what makes things tough. It's right. like pastas, breads. When you need things, it develops the gluten. Cake flour has less gluten. So okay. I want. I like my cookies a little cakier, okay. a little softer. Um, you need a little bit of gluten because that's what holds them together. That protein holds them together, but I don't want a ton of it. And that, you'll see how little we actually work mm-hmm. these once we add the dry ingredients. So the first thing I'm going to do is take our two flours. I'm going to pour them, and I'm going to sift them. So I have a sifter here, and I'm add, also going to add some baking soda to this. Okay. okay? So we're going to take I would love actually, to be able to see what you're doing. I'm, I'm gonna, actually going to give this to you and let you do it. So I'm going to have to watch the video it. later. Okay, so see, you just sift it as so, such. Just so shake I get it through. to sift this. Yeah, so sift it right Ooh, this ranks bowl. up there with tempering eggs. Okay, so we're going to sift our flour and baking soda. Hey, why don't you have one of those things my grandmother had? That had the it looked like a measuring cup that had a handle on yeah, the side of it. Yeah, they still make those, and you can use those for sure. I, I lo- just I use that. I, I loved a, it because it made one heck of a mess when you did it. That's a multi-purpose it. tool I have right there, and it's yeah. So you just sift that, and what that that'll lighten it up a little bit, and it'll get any lumps out that are in it. And here I'll give you a I'm actually spatula. Look, I'm, I'm actually kind of impressed that I see some lumps. So once that goes there. through, you can kind of brush the top of it with a spatula, so that it. Gets it all through the, you know, there's none left over, no residual. So what we're going to do while that's going, what I have here, and you can go back to our Thanksgiving edition of Just Cook It Radio and learn yeah. how to make this, brown, brown butter. butter. The reason I like this, it's a little nuttier, and uh, I, I just, I think it has a great flavor and it lends great flavor to these cookies because we're also going to add English toffee to this. Oh, okay. And so the brown butter and toffee are just so delicious together. Hey, before I forget, I want to bring this up. I guess you posted something about fruitcake this week. Yes. And I read that, and it got me talking again with my wife about it. I like fruit cake, but I don't like the fruit fruit cake. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> so so she makes one. It's very similar. It's called raisin cake. Ah, and it or known that's as still de- fruit though. It's known grapes. as uh, depression era cake, ah, which is when they couldn't afford the fruit. And she's making it this afternoon, and I love that. You're excited, so you're yeah. going to have a, a whole oh yeah plethora of baked goods today. Yeah, this is kind it of tis the season. Kind of fun. I actually you, that, you did an excellent job. It looks job. like snow. It does. So it, you there's can more hold that for right there's now more snow in that bowl than there is outside right that. now. So we have our flours and baking soda all yeah. sifted together, which is, which is a start. And then in this bowl, I have some brown sugar. It's packed brown sugar. I like light brown. Okay. okay. Um, so that's, that's what I use. And I also have some regular sugar here, okay, table sugar. Is that really? It looks Yes. It th- well, it's organic. Oh, that's why of it's course got that it is. brownish okay, look to it. Okay, there's a brown it, tint to it. Yeah. yeah so we're going to add our sugars, okay, brown sugar, white sugar. And we're also going to add some salt to this. Okay. So a teaspoon of salt. And, Bill, if you reach behind the oven, there's some vanilla extract, pure vanilla. 
Oh, wait, it's on your side. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, I found the cinnamon. You did find this. That's for our cocktail later. Oh. So. There you go. We've got him, him Mike Sackley. <laughs> Ooh. Gives a little. He hears the word cocktail. He's yeah. all in, boy. He's ready to go. So we got some vanilla extract we're going to add to our sugars. Two and a half teaspoons. Okay. Okay, we added a teaspoon of salt. There's two. And then a little half, maybe a little extra, just, you know. Wait, I thought this was an exact science. It is. Oh, okay. That was a mistake. Okay. But I fixed it. I dumped it back in the bottle. Okay. Be very careful when you're pouring your vanilla, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we got our vanilla. We got our sugars. I'm also going to add our brown butter to this mix now. Okay. Okay. And actually, if you uh, would like to see what Mario is doing, all you have to do is go to justcookit.tv later on. And also watch us on Fayette TV Channel 77 because you can actually see – what Mario is doing, how he's mixing it, and everything right now, because we have the camera set up just perfectly, uh -huh. so you can actually see so the Bill, ingredients going in. I'm going to ask you a very important technical sure. question. How much time do we have until our first break? Because I don't want to mix this entirely I, on the air. We got about. We can probably go in about a minute, minute and a okay. half. Okay. Because what I have here, and for those of you watching on FCTV or at JustCookIt.TV. I have my electric mixer, this hand mixer. You can use a KitchenAid or whatever, but I have a whisk attachment on it. Yeah. Okay. So it's a wire whip because I want to whip a little more air into this. Okay. Make it a little lighter, make it a little airier. And so this takes five minutes of whisking, continuous okay. whisking. Once we do that, I'll be done with yeah. this. So whisking I'll give you, on the radio. I'll give you a, with the electric mixer. It just makes it easier. I'll give you a little hint of what it's going to sound like this way you okay. know. Okay. Okay. okay, that's the electric mixer. Okay. I don't want to have that go in five minutes straight on the radio, so <laughs> I'm going to actually start mixing it now. Okay. And uh, then we can go to break. I'll mix it through break. What's going to happen is I'm going to mix this for three minutes, okay? okay. Just like this with the sugar, the butter. I'm going to cream it all right. together for three minutes. Then in this bowl, I have one yolk and okay. one whole egg. Okay. I'm going to add that to the mix and add an extra two minutes. We're going to mix that. To, we're going to okay. whisk that together. Okay. At that point, I promise we're done we're with the electric the mixer? mixer. Yes. Hey, we said we were original. We're the only ones know, that we know that actually cook on the radio. So yeah, there you go. Yeah, we're baking on the radio. Or and baking, I'm sorry. So is it just bake it today and not? <laughs> do no. we need to change the name for the day? It's all semantics. We have poetic <laughs> license. It's <Okay>. our show. <laughs> so I'm going to get ready to begin mixing this. Our sugars. Again, just to rehash, we got our brown butter. we got our brown sugar, our white sugar. we got our salt, and we have... Um, Okay. Our vanilla extract in this bowl. We've sifted our two flours together, cake flour and AP mm -hmm. flour, and we've added our baking soda to that. Mike, are you taking notes? You're going to be expected to make this for Christmas this year. Oh, my goodness. Yes. So, well, what's Santa going to eat when he comes That's to your right. house? That's right. Very true. can't so leave him Oreos. I know they say Oreos is America's I, favorite cookie, I've, but I've please. Got, I've got the adult eggnog ready for Santa. Oh, well, that <laughs> works, <laughs> too. That's, that's Santa, about it. I have a feeling there won't be any left when yeah, Santa yeah, gets yeah. there. That's true, too. <laughs> that's a good point. So let's um, – do you want to take our first break? Let's do it right now. And then we'll come back. I'll start whisk, mixing this together. When we come back, we're not having audio difficulties, I promise. <laughs> we'll just be mixing running. with an electric <laughs> mixer. So don't touch that radio dial. We're going to be baking cookies. I'm going to show you how to put the dough together and how to get it in the oven. And then we're going to make a cocktail, which is an adult version of milk, to dunk our cookies in. So we're going to have more milk and cookies this morning. We'll talk, do more cookie talk and take your calls right after these messages from our sponsors. And Just Cook It is served up to you today by the Big Barn Country Store in Delhi, by Pareka Chiropractic Center, Inc., by 4th Street Barbecue, by the Herald Standard, and on FCTV by Phil Gianetti Motors. And you're watching Just Cook It on Fayette TV Channel 77 and also at JustCookIt.tv. And you're listening to Just Cook It Radio here on your local station, 590 Radio WM. B S. Phil Giannetti Motors at 656 National Pike East in Brownsville is a proud sponsor of programming on FCTV. Phil Giannetti Motors providing quality vehicles for 45 years. If you're looking for a quality pre-owned vehicle, give Phil Giannetti a call at 724-785-6800 or stop by their website, philgiannettimotors.com. Welcome back. You are listening to Just Cook It on your local station, well, well, 590 you're listening, Radio. You're listening to WMBS. a mixer mix is what you're and listening to. And a mixer mix. Yeah, and yeah. also on FCTV Channel 77 <laughs> and at JustCookIt.tv. I'm Mario Parekh here with Bill Alexander and Mike Sackley, and we're baking 
cookies in studio today. And we had a call off the air um, from Marty, um, who was talking about his family's uh, traditions, cookies, and they were nut rolls and poppy seed rolls. I love a good nut roll. I mean, I really do. You and me both. And, I mean, it's it's something that's really good. And I wish he would have uh, called in so we were, stayed online so we could talk to him. But the other thing he asked, too, which is a great question because I never thought of it because I know where it's at. He asked where the big barn is. And it's actually in Periopolis. If you're going um, towards Pittsburgh on Route 51, it's on the left-hand side of the road. If you're going from Pittsburgh to Uniontown, it's on the same side of the road you're on. So it's real easy to find. It's uh, it's in Periopolis, so you can stop out and see us next uh, next Saturday. If you go to our website at justcookit.net, there's a tab at the top That's of right. our site that says Sponsors. If you scroll over that, you can click on the Big Barn. They have their own page on our website, as do all of our other sponsors. And you can uh, the address is listed there, right. the phone number as yeah, well. But if you and just, there's a map. If you just drive straight on 51 oh, yeah, in either direction, you can't miss it. Um, I'm looking forward to it. It's been a while since I've been in the store. As we, yeah, we hear I wanted it, to Mario. kind of show it to the camera, but kept close <laughs> to the microphone. So we're almost there. I got about a minute left on mixing this. I added the eggs. We mix, we mixed or creamed our butter and sugars together for right. three minutes. I added the eggs, and it's really starting to thicken up because eggs are an emulsifier. Yes. So the yolk, especially that extra yolk, it's going to give it a little extra richness. That's okay. why we added the yolk, and it's going to help bring it all together because, again, you can rem remember how we talked about last week about things breaking? Yes. You can break a batter. How do you break a batter? Well, you have, think about it, you have fat, okay, right? And you're mixing it up, and then you have your acidic compounds, your sugars, and all that other stuff you're adding to it. So if it's not mixed or creamed just right, it can, it can break. Right. So you add those eggs will actually help emulsify it, along with when it baking, holding it together with the extra protein. Okay. And? It should be coming down to the wire here. Yeah, we got about 10 seconds. Nine. Eight. The countdown. Seven. Six. Five. Four, it is. three, two, one. All right. Perfect. No fireworks, nothing? Well, now you have better than fireworks. You have cookie batter. partially made cookie batter. We stuffed out our flour and our chocolate chips and our Heath Bar. But so, Bill, if you want to pass me the flour. The flour. Mm -hmm. I sifted that the flour. Sifted flour, sifted by Bill Alexander. I'm going to add the flour to this mixture, and I'm going to add it all at once. Okay. Because okay? we don't want to overwork this. Again, the gluten, we don't want to develop a ton of gluten. We want just enough to hold them together, but we want a light right. texture. So do you mix it again with the mixer, or you do it by hand now? I do it by hand now. Okay. So now I have my spatula. What we're going to do is we're going to fold. So we're just going to bring it up from the bottom. Okay. Okay, and fold it all together. Now, once this starts to come together to the point where it just looks like it has a light dusting of flour on the yes. outside of it, we're going to then add our toffee. In this bowl, I have some toffee, some Heath Bar that I put in a food processor, okay. and chocolate, chocolate chips. chips. We're going to add those in because, again, we don't want to overwork it. If we work this until it's there and then add those and mix it again, it's going to overwork the dough. Okay. So we're just going to very lightly, I'm not whipping hard, I'm using a rubber spatula, and I'm just folding it just to bring this all together. Okay. You make chocolate chip cookies, Bill, at home? Uh, yeah, but I cheat, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's another tip for chocolate chip cookies. The be and something really good. We're going to do this with ours as well. Betty Crocker is a very good friend of mine, <laughs> she, to be honest with you. She's a nice lady. <laughs> after, you, uh, after you make your dough, okay, with the co chocolate chip cookies, and I recommend this for almost every yeah. cookie, you put it in the refrigerator or the freezer and, let and it you firm chill up. it before you yeah. bake them because – when it sits, the flour will absorb more moisture, mm -hmm. which will give you a more stable product. And it's easier to it's, – when you mix this dough, especially if you're using an electric mixer, when you mix dough, it causes friction, which causes heat. Right. So you can actually overbake your cookies without overbaking them because, because they're the already heat hot. Was already yeah, they're already warm. So we're going to add at this also point our chocolate over, chips and our heat. You all for overbeat it. The, the, the batter becomes very sticky. Because it, it, it start because of the, again the heat yes. and it sticks up and when you try to take it if you're using a spoon or whatever to put it on the cookie sheet, it becomes a sticky mess. Now we're going to do this a really interesting way. Well, okay. not really. I mean, it's not. It's is it not, unique and unusual? Yeah, yeah it is. Okay. It's nothing like it's not brain surgery or anything, but it's something that I came up with. I mean, I've seen other places do this before, but. I was kind of proud of myself for thinking of the okay. two together with okay. chocolate chip cookies. So, and an easy way to store it as well. So at this point, I'm actually going to use my hands. Okay. To work just to work this last bit of chocolate chip cookie dough into me, or the chocolate chips in the Heath bar to make sure it's all in there. Okay. To make sure it's and as you can see, the dough's not. 
it's still kind of moist and crumbly, and that's what I want because, again, if it's crumbly like that, we know it's not overworked. Right. Right? And it's not stuck together. Yeah. So I'm just going to fold it over just a couple times to make sure the chocolate chips are all worked in. I thought you were going to say you were going to stick okay. it out the window for 10 minutes so it gets cold. <laughs> I'm way ahead of you on that one. Hold on. Okay. Let me clear off my work surface Yes, I mean, I've been waiting for this snow. I mean, I was worried that we were going to come in this morning. We are going to have a okay. winter wonderland. So check this out. I got plastic wrap on the table here, right? Yes, I saw you work that out. Mm -hmm. um, and when you're doing it at home, one break. On, your t on your table at home, if you take a, a wet, wet rag and you wipe your tabletop, okay. you, the plastic will stick right of course, to it. Yeah. So I use two sheets. I put them and overlap them side by side. It's like a window so, cling, yeah. Right. So I do the plastic, then I wipe it, and then I put another plastic. Okay. And then I take my dough here and I dump it right on this plastic. Okay. Okay. Now comes the fun part. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our dough here, and we're going to press it, not hard, but just kind of mold it into a log. Okay. Mike should be taking pictures of this. Yeah, take some pictures, Mike. Facebook it. Yeah. So we got our log here. So you can see we got our cookie dough on our plastic. Right. And I like to take it to almost the edge of the table here. And we're not going to work it anymore. It doesn't have to be perfect. So you can see here's our cookie loaf, if you will, as Mike takes Could some pictures. Could you make the whole thing as a cookie loaf and then like a, a bread or something? <laughs> it would be hard to bake because it's kind of thick in the center. Uh, yeah, but it would be really I guess good. You could. So I'm going to stand up and it. cut my head off on TV. That's okay. Uh, and hit my head on the, the microphone. microphone. <laughs> this, is, this is getting intense. <laughs> People are going to get real frustrated with us real fast. Okay, so now we got our. Watch this. Wow. This is the technique. Yeah. Okay. We got our. Do I have to stand dough. up and watch? This is what you're yeah, telling me. That's okay. What you do. Now we're going to take our plastic okay, from the you bottom. Roll it over. Okay, everyone, close your eyes and imagine this. Everyone listening, and we're going to roll it over. We're going to take our log and we're going to roll it in plastic. Okay. Okay. Very tightly in like a cylinder. Okay, this is the technique form of it. Okay. So as we work it, we're going to press the ends in. That's going to keep it tight. And we have a log of cookie dough that we're rolling in plastic wrap. So we want to get a nice thick layer on. The thicker, the better. I mean, you can't okay. have too much plastic wrap on okay. this. But you can have not enough. So now we have it rolled. So now what we're going to do is take the ends and we're going to twist it like a Tootsie Roll. Okay. Okay. And you can also use the table like this for those oh, okay, of you watching so. on TV. So now that we have it nice and tight in a cylinder, okay, of plastic, yeah. we're going to take this and put it in the freezer. Oh, okay. Okay, for a half an hour. Okay. Okay. In a half an hour, we're going to pull this out. It's going to be firm. Yeah. We're going to slice it with a knife. You know what? Pillsbury's been doing that for years. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but I put two and two together and figured it out. We're going to slice it with a knife. I got gotcha. you. Okay. And then when that happens, I'm going to show you. So that's why done. they were the odd shape. In the newspaper, when I saw them, because they're not really round, they're the shape of the plastic wrap. Interesting. They are round because this yeah. is our next step. Now, okay. in this container, this is what they look like when they're cut. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Well, there's a flat bottom. You can see. Yeah. So what we're going to do before we bake them oh, okay. is we're going to obviously take the plastic wrap off. I Because we so. don't want to bake them with plastic wrap. So we uh, so carefully unroll them. And the then fire we'd have would be amazing. You take them. Ah, I see what you And you're we're going to mold them. Into circles. Into circles, just okay, using cool. our hands. Now, we don't want to press them too much because we don't right. want them to get real tight, but we can make them a nice circular cookie shape. So how long do you put them in the freezer for again? Half an hour. Half hour. I mean, you can leave them longer. You can freeze cookie dough. Yeah. You, I mean, if you freeze it, it'll last like two to three months. Oh, really? And then you can pull it out, and you can even bake cookie dough frozen. You don't okay. have to thaw it before you now, bake it. Now, when you were making this and you got everything done, how much cookie dough did you eat before it was put in the oven? No. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, they say you can't do that because the eggs in it. But the thing is, the eggs are pasteurized, are yeah. they not? I mean, so what is the health issue about eating raw cookie dough? Because, honestly, this well, is my favorite time of CY year. CYA. Uh, okay, I got you. you know? so, so, in other words, do not do this. So there's your cookie. Yeah. That's what it should look like. And I, I'm so, such a nice guy that I actually brought extra for you and Mike to practice with. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here, we, Mike. we all get in the all act right. here. We, 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 so basically what we did was we took our uh, – when you slice it, after you pull it out of the freezer and you slice it, it's going to have a flat bottom for this, sitting on your cutting board. This is bad as a roll of so tape. So it's going to look like an end. arc with a flat bottom. So what we do is we take the plastic wrap off very carefully, discard that, and then using your uh, thumb and forefinger, you just work around the outside. Oh, wait. There's a certain way to do this yeah, now? Yeah, use your thumb and forefinger, work around the outside, and create a circle. So you have a nice circular cookie shape. This is so much easier to me. 
Oh, then using then a teaspoon. Using a get, spoon. Yeah. It's just, I mean, because you can have this whole thing sliced in less than five minutes, and then once it's sliced, it only takes another five to ten minutes to mold them. And then here's the key: these cookies are large. Okay, these are going to be nice large cookies. Bill, you did a great job. Thank you very much. So these are nice large cookies. So when I'm baking these at home on a regular cookie sheet, yes. I only bake four at a time. Oh wow, they're that big. Yeah, you'll get twenty cookies out of this one out of the oh, one wow. recipe, but they're bigger cookies, so they're you know. Right. You so in other words, having three or four, you yeah, just have one. Right. Yeah. So I bake four at a time. I make sure they have plenty of room because I don't want them to bake together. Yes. You know, as in one right. piece. <laughs> be- so I make sure I, they have plenty of room. Three hundred and seventy-five degrees for ten minutes, and they they come out perfect in my oven. Okay. Now here's the key. Yeah. You have to try these, and the good thing about baking four at a time is. You you know it's a good way to test. You don't have right. them all done at once. So right. if they if they're over or under, I want them to be baked, but I don't want them to be dark brown. Right. I want them to be light. I want them to be chewy. A little you on the chewier side. Over there. Yeah, I definitely <laughs> broke the cookie. There's more. You can keep trying. It takes some time. Do you want, me to, you want me, me to show you, me you me another ha- one? How many you want me to break here? Do you want me to show you another one? <laughs> Put it back together. It's dough. Oh my. Bill, you didn't have any issues. Wait a minute. Didn't Failure. you have home ec class at Mars? I did, seventh grade. Yeah, Mrs. Long time who was ago. your teacher? Mine was Mrs. Knopf. Who was okay, yours? Okay, I had Mrs. Webb. Oh, okay. Hey, I, th- I knew Mrs. Webb. Did you? Yeah. This is weird right now, but b- b- it's bring by, back the memories. By the way, I drove to Mars last night to pick up my dad to bring him down to visit this weekend. Yeah. I am so glad I don't live there anymore. <laughs> Getting through Cranberry was a nightmare oh, last man, night. Oh, man, they got to extend that road. Oh, they make, need to make it wider. Exactly. Okay, enough on my town planning for Granbury, Pennsylvania. So, Mike, we're just waiting on you so we can well, put these in the oven. you might be waiting on me all morning. <laughs> oh, come right. on. This is, uh, it's, it's okay. Here, Wait, look, at the, look at this thing. This Here, is, like, I'll show apart. you again. <laughs> do, we, do we need to, like, make a song for this so you can sing? You know, like how when you teach someone to tie their shoes? I'm a very slow learner. That's why, that's why, <laughs> that's why I'm in radio. <laughs> okay, Mike, watch me. We have our thumb and forefinger, right? Okay, all right. And all of you at home, watch. You just take it. And you mold it. You just push it down. Okay. Okay, into a circle. Because your hand becomes a natural circle there between your thumb and forefinger. It's a C. It's a C. Yeah, it's a C. C is for cookies. And you put two C's together. It's a C all the way around. Yeah. Yeah, just keep going around. (laughs) I didn't realize. I didn't think this was rocket science. Yeah, Yeah. 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 It's okay, Mike. C is for cookie. I was going to say a five-year-old could do this. Well, and unfortunately, you're not five, so there you go. (laughs) So... I have the education Again, of a five-year-old. <laughs> when you bake these, I went you to have Arizona to, State. Come I'm on. not saying anything else. <laughs> when you bake these, you have to you have to see them, you know, because because right. my oven at home, like I said, 375 degrees, 10 minutes, they come out perfect. Yep. This oven here that I have, the small oven, is a convection oven, so it gets right. a little warmer and it distributes right. heat better. This oven, 350 degrees for 10 minutes, and they come okay. out perfect. So you make one, you see how it is, and then you adjust your well, temperature Well, let's put time. those in the oven. We'll go to break right now. Can you set your timer for 10 minutes, And please? I have it. Okay, there we go. We're going to break. Cookies are in the oven. We are going to go to our final break here. When we come back, we're going to be making the cocktail that goes with these. Sounds and our good. cookies will be coming out of the oven in 10 minutes. 10 so minutes. you don't want to miss it. So. Don't touch that radio dial. We'll be back with more Just Cook It. And Just Cook It is served up to you today by the Big Barn, Country Store and Deli, by Paraka Chiropractic Center, Inc., by 4th Street Barbecue, and by the Herald Standard. And you're watching Just Cook It on Fayette TV, Channel 77. That's a microphone there, Mario. And JustCookIt.tv. That was actually the baking oh, record. was it really? And you're listening to your local station, 590 Radio, WMBS. Bill Giannetti Motors at 656 National Pike East in Brownsville is a proud sponsor of programming on FCTV. Bill Giannetti Motors providing quality vehicles for 45 years. If you're looking for a quality pre-owned vehicle, give Phil Giannetti a call at 724-785-6800 or stop by their website, philgiannettimotors.com. Good to have you back. You're listening to Just Cook It on your local station, 590 Radio, WMBS, and also on FCTV, Channel 77, and at JustCookIt.tv. I am Mario Pareca, baking cookies here with Bill Alexander and Mike Sackley. And you can call the program if you want to join in, 724-438-4593 is the little local number. Excuse me, let me get that out. And the toll-free number is 855 855- 
590-0590. Are you calling that? Is that really what Sackley's doing, or is he just eating raw cookie dough? Well, he's doing that, too. How <laughs> is I'm it? ready to do a little drinking. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course was, you are. Uh, you know the FCC is going to start monitoring the show uh, now. I know. Thank it's, you it's very much. It's all over. It's all over. Thank uh, you very much. It was good, actually. Cookie dough was, was really good. So my failure has turned into something good. That's good. You, so you kind of did that on purpose, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, again, just to rehash, we made our cookies. Our, do- our cookies are in the oven. They're baking. They'll be done in less than 10 minutes. And the thing with cookies, again, measure. make sure you use high-quality ingredients. Right, First of course. and foremost. Yeah. Second of all, make sure you uh, you measure everything correctly. Dry yeah. measures, dry product and dry measuring, liquid product and liquid measuring cups. Uh, make sure you combine and you follow the correct technique, the creaming technique, mm-hmm. the basic, you know, how we, how we rolled them. And it's all done for a reason. Again, the reason I rolled them as I did and I yes. sliced them is because it helps you work them less. Okay. Okay. It will help you, and it's more convenient, just faster and easier, and you get a more consistent okay. product. You'll see these cookies are almost all exactly the same size, exactly the mm-hmm. same texture, which is a really good thing to have. And... Right now, we're going to make our cocktail to go with our cookies. Okay, sounds good. So, and if you if you were in the studio right now, you could actually smell the cookies bake, but unfortunately, you're not here, so you can't smell them. <laughs> but just close your eyes and use your imagination. Yes, so, right. real quickly, guys, uh, one of the a lady just called in. She wants to know when uh, when can the can you see this on Channel 77? Um, it will be on Tuesday night, following the uh, Herald Standard House to Home Show. Okay. And it will be on around 8:30 ish. Okay. Okay. So I'm filling a cocktail shaker with ice. <laughs> That's what you're hearing. <laughs> and he's standing underneath and the microphone. <laughs> I'm just a mess this morning. And um, what was I going to say? I uh, the no Herald idea. Standard House to Home Show. Yeah. Watch that, and then you can watch us. It's the Just Living Hour right. on Fayette TV. So it's right. on Tuesdays and on Sundays. Sundays. But tomorrow will be last week's show right that we did if you missed that one which was the uh the buffalo chicken bites and the shiner beer which was an excellent program <laughs> yes <laughs> hopefully we can uh live up to that to that with this one so first thing i'm going to do i'm gonna make one cocktail and we're all gonna share Aww. okay okay I so have to drive home too yeah you and me both so i'm gonna start out with two ounces of bailey's irish cream okay right over the ice we have again we have a cocktail shaker filled with ice and you got your bailey's and we got our bailey's Love Bailey's. And how much is that again? Two ounces. Two ounces. Okay. Okay. Then, and this cocktail is super easy, so Bill, you can have those cups on the ready. Okay, yeah, got next it. To you. Then to this, we are going to add three ounces of whole milk. Okay. Okay, right again to our shaker filled with ice. And of course, it's Mario, so he's using organic. Well, this is our friends at Stonyfield. Stonyfield. I saw that. I didn't realize that. We have friends everywhere. If you think about it. We have a lot of friends. They well, all like us. A lot of national sponsors, or a lot of national friends. No sponsors, <laughs> I but wish. friends. <laughs> Can you s- <laughs> Maybe if you say it. <laughs> it's like uh, when you say Beetlejuice three times. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I just want to know if I'm getting a big barn hat next week. I believe they, I've heard rumors of beanies. Oh, Winter beanies. beanies. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll wear the beanie on the show. So, I don't mind. You know, for Brian, too. No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey, when we uh, he's like me. He's bald and beautiful yes, like I am. Yeah. When you have no hair, you need something to cover yes. that up. I'm going to add just a <laughs> shot of vanilla extract. Okay. Just a touch. Okay. And now, if you're ready for some more sound effects, Ooh. I'm going to put our lid on our shaker, and we're going to shake. Do we have to shake it? We can't stir it? Shake and not, not stir. Stirred. Okay. And you can hear this in the microphone because we're really cooking here. We're really making I drinks. It. We don't mess around. That already brought maracas with him, one of the two. <laughs> Maracas, please. You think we're Chi-Chi's? <laughs> it's your birthday? <laughs> Mike more. has a sombrero on in the corner. Unfortunately, Ew. there is no Chi-Chi's anymore. Okay, so now, Bill, if you have those cups. I got those cups. I was going to put them on the oven, but Lovely. I think they'd melt. Yeah, not a good idea. How much time we got on our cookies? We have about two and a half minutes Perfect. left. So what, what I'm going to do now is... Oh, they look wonderful, too. I'm going to add our cocktail to these cups. I'm going to fill them about halfway because we just want to taste, really. Am I going to be able to break my cookie off and eat, dip it in there? That's the plan. Ooh. Making <laughs> a little mess. You're getting more everywhere than you are in the these cup. These cups are very tiny, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get a text message last night around 11 o'clock going, do you still have those cups? <laughs> well, you did, and that was we, a good we thing. We communicate all week, guys. We don't just do this uh, Yeah. On Saturday. We don't communicate about what we're going to talk about on the radio. Oh, no, we have no clue. Yeah, that's what makes it fun. I find out when I come in in the morning. Uh-huh. He came in, he said, what's that oven doing? Yeah. Oh, cookies. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, 
But you can and, smell the cookies now. And Mike comes in and goes, what are we drinking this week? Yes. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm thinking. <laughs> so, here we go. Our adult milk. Because you got to have milk with cookies, exactly right? Exactly right. Okay. So, and actually, th- that's really to simple this, to make with the Baileys, the milk, I and have now. some heavy cream, okay? Cold heavy cream. We're just going to top it. Okay. With some, with just, an, uh, uh, just a now, touch of when you put cream. that in, do you have to put a, uh, use a stir to mix it? Or I don't. It you can if you want, but I kind of okay. like to leave it separate. Okay. Okay. And then, because the cream will actually ri- be on the top. Right. What we're going to do to garnish... Uh-oh. I have some dark chocolate. dark chocolate. We're gonna shave some dark chocolate. How are you gonna do this without making a mess? Von Benko's gonna it. love us. <laughs> as long as we give him some cookies, I think he'll be. Speaking fine of that, with it. did you uh, leave one or make a drink for Von Benko too? We can. <laughs> okay, so we got our we shaved have, chocolate. We have a minute left. Less than a minute left. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Perfect. So we're gonna give it also just a little adjusting. Okay. Of cinnamon. Cinnamon. Yeah. It's like aluminum. So now, gentlemen, ah. cocktails around. Okay. And adult right milk. Now adult milk. We got 10 seconds for the cookies. And we're going to pull our cookies. Okay, here we go. Ooh, they smell wonderful. Oh, they look wonderful. Ta-da. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Wow. So we're going to let these sit on this pan just for about two minutes. Okay. Just so they can kind of regroup cool down. and cool down a little. And then I have a rack here, a cooling rack. We're going to put them on. But we kind of want to eat them warm right, while we're here. Exactly. So we're not too concerned with that. <laughs> so we burn the roots of our mouth. Hey, I had a root <laughs> canal this week. I don't need more uh, dental surgery. You'll be fine. Dip it in your milk. Dip in my milk. Can I try my milk? You can if okay. you want. Yeah, it's milk. I didn't know if we had to wait. No, there's no rules here. That's not bad. No. I like that. Nice little kick. It's a different alternative to eggnog. Yeah. I mean, uh, I like eggnog, you know, but I kind of get tired of it after so mm-hmm. long during the season. And I've so. always wanted to know what to do with Baileys. I mean, I like a little bit of Baileys. I mean, that's fine over, over ice. Uh-huh. But this is this is, this is is an alternative. It's actually very good. Yeah. I mean, I like it. Baileys, I, uh, you normally get in coffee. Right. But I like it like this, especially with the cookies. Right. It really makes it makes it work together. So now you can have your you know uh, cocktail parties in the in the winter time. Yes. You know, you or you know you have people over for your holiday parties. What a better way to end the meal. That's right. Or to have dessert. So we're gonna take our cookies. I'm just gonna take them. Uh oh, they're falling apart. They are. They're just still warm. Done, yeah. I would let them. Uh, firm normally, up a let them firm up a little more, but we want to eat them, so I'm gonna try to cool them faster. Well, we could we could wait longer, but we have to be off the air by ten. <laughs> so I mean, I there's know. only so much we can do. We'll give them just a couple minutes down here to cool. And what I'll actually do is, while these are cooling, I'm like a Boy Scout. I'm not a Boy Scout. Right. Aha. <laughs> always prepared. He's always prepared. <laughs> always prepared. As, as, as we have the ones fresh baked from the oven. Yes. Well, mm. you get those. But here's some that I baked the last night. And they last you. What you how you want to store your cookies? You want to keep them in a wrapped in an airtight cont- or in an airtight container. I usually put some parchment underneath them just to keep them off the bottom of the plastic. And I usually put some on top of them just to keep them out of contact with the plastic. And These then, are good. Thanks. These taste like bakery cookies. And These are you, excellent. You put that lid on so it's nice and tight. And th- wait till you taste the warm ones. Uh, this this goes back to my childhood in Barkas Bakery in the Richland Mall. Jeez, a whiz. Yeah, you want to have them. The textures there, the flavors there. Wow. And you can make them without the Heath bar if you want. You oh, no, add... don't. You need the Heath bar. But one of my favorite cookies. That's exactly what it tastes like, too. Going, my... in, going in the bakery with my grandmother and, and getting, and I always get that free cookie when she would get mm-hmm. stuff. This would be, oh, this yep. is it. And you have the brown butter in there, which mm-hmm. gives it a nice nuttiness. That's really good. And like I said, they're larger, you can see. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I could probably eat three or four of these. Right. But that's just me. One to two cookies right. for Santa is plenty because he has to eat cookies exactly. at everyone else's oh, house. Right, yeah. But like I also said in my column in the Herald Standard, these cookies, if you make a good enough cookie, I'm a firm believer that it'll turn your coal into presents. <laughs> Santa comes in. As they say, bribery works. Exactly. He eats that cookie. He's like, man, that's good. I'm in a much better mood yeah, now. There, but it yeah. is very good. Very simple to make. The recipe is on the website, justcookit.net. Yeah. You can watch us make it. And honestly, he did it in in the per- process of a radio show. 
<laughs> I mean, so you can make these really quick. In less than an hour, he made the cookies. Now, of course, if you're going to free, you have to freeze the dough, which takes a half hour, but you can always go wrap presents while you do that. Absolutely. Or you can make them the day before. Right. Pull them out of the freezer. I, would, I, I wouldn't try to slice because it's a thicker log of dough. Right. I wouldn't try to slice it frozen solid. Right. Let it, uh, Probably let it slack. Right. If you think you're going to um, not make them all at once, mm-hmm. then I would pop them in the freezer for the 20 minutes or 30 minutes, pull them out, cut the log into smaller portions. Right. Or portion them all then. Cut them all, yeah. put them in a container like I have there with a tight-fitting lid. Right. Make sure you put parchment paper and plastic wrap on top of them to keep them t- mm-hmm. airtight. Put the lid on, clamp it shut so that, you know, keep as much little air from the cookies as possible. Put them in your freezer, and then when you're ready to bake them, you pull one or two cookies, te- however many cookies you want out at a time. Put them on your baking sheet, put them in the oven. Now, keep in mind, when you're baking them from frozen, they're going to take longer. Right, of course. You know, it's not going to be the 10 minutes. They're going to have to thaw out in the oven first. But then you just have to keep an eye on them. Cookies, when they bake, they, they melt, obviously, right. in the oven, and that's why they spread out. Once they're spread out and they're set, they're done. Yeah. Um, so you just you got to watch them. Like these ones, they don't have a ton of color on them because I don't want them to be real hard and crispy. Right. I want them to be more on the chewy side. Mm-hmm. And you can see that. Here's, do you want this? This yeah, is a nice warm-baked one. one from the oven. I'll give Mike one. Ooh, wow. There you go. Fresh from the oven in a radio studio. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Mm-hmm. That's th- they're much better from the oven, but they're still very good the next day. Mm-hmm. It's not like you can't eat them um, after they've after you bake them. But yeah, there's just nothing like fresh baked cookies. warm cookies. Yeah. Yep. So is this? We we need to do some research. Is this a first? I think so. If not, we can say it's a first. I know it's the first in Fayette County. How's that? Okay. So we're the first people to make cookies on live on the radio in Fayette County. And another thing I want to talk about because we have about two to three minutes left. Um, again, you can get the recipe at justcookit.net. But next Saturday, December the 21st, we will be live at the Big Barn. We'll be doing a couple dishes with kibasi. We'll have a ham um, that we're making, a Big Barn ham. And like we said, and we'll also they'll have pie there. They'll be giving away or uh, raffling off a gift certificate for the Big Barn, a gift certificate for Jean and Boots. And um, it's just going to be a lot of fun. So I'm going to stay there after. I'll have my cookbook there. If you need some Christmas gifts, I'll be, so- I'll so- be selling and signing cookbooks. And um, it's, there's going to be a ton of food. So you can come sample the you can have uh, some kibasi. We'll have a breakfast item, so you can have some kibasi for breakfast. Sounds good to me. Because we talked about it being yeah. a breakfast meat. And then you can have uh, a kibasi uh, for lunch, a lunch item, just a taste. You can have some ham, which is the best ham around, the Big Barnes ham. And now, then you can have some pie for dessert. you have to order that ham in advance before you can get it, or um, they have them there? I believe they have them. Okay. But if you want to be safe, okay. you can get their number from our website at justcookit.net, and you can call them ahead of time. Just to double check. So, But we will be at the Big Barn. And if you want to win the Big Barn or the Jean and Boots gift certificates, you have to be there at 9 a.m. We'll be doing that raffle. And we're also doing our drawing. So when you go to justcookit.net, fill out for our drawing. You could win a Just Cook It Radio prize pack. And we're also going to be raffling that off at the Big Barn. So everything's going down next Saturday, 9 a.m. at the Big yeah. Barn. And we'll be with, with there with uh, WMBS GM. Um, Brian Rosick. Unfortunately, Mike has to be stuck back in the studio. This while is going to be very there. depressing for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't be get, listening. I, I don't get the goods this week, well, that next week. Yeah. Maybe Brian will we'll bring you a doggy bag. bag. Yeah. We'll send a goodie bag back. That'd be so, nice. I want to thank everyone for listening. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have this week. But next week, we will be back bright-eyed and bushy-tailed at the Big Barn Country Store in Delhi. And we'll be. it's just going to be a lot of fun. We hope to see you there. Any parting words, gentlemen? Goodbye. See you later. For Mike Sackley, Bill Alexander, and Mario Pareca, we're going to eat some cookies. We'll talk to you next week here on Just Cook It Radio on your local station, 590 Radio, WMBS. Thanks for listening to Just Cook It Radio with Mario Pareca and Bill Alexander. For more information on today's program, visit the Just Cook It website at justcookit.net. Here, you can listen to the podcast or watch Mario and Bill cook today's recipe on Just Cook It TV. If you have any questions or comments about the show, please call 855-590-0590.